This is the Yang Trader. Now the pit's closed here at 2.30. That was about 15 minutes ago. So we are going to review crude oil here and natural gas. At the end of the video, the support and resistance levels will be posted. This video is for information purposes only. Not a recommendation to buy, sell any stock at the ETF. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. All right, here we have crude oil, your daily chart. Now, I was pointing out here to watch this key 200 SMA here, now sitting at 78.26. And wow, she closed right below it. Holy schmoly, what a red candle. All right, let's just see where it came from, okay? So we had this bull flag here going, and then it ran up, okay? But that was that war premium, like I was telling you. 5 to $10 is in that war premium. Now she's coming off really, really hard. So when it sold off here, okay, it had like a sideways action, but it tried to get through. It couldn't get through that 8-day, the 21-day. And the whole thing, it just can't get through that eight day. See how strong that eight day is? Now it's just leading around. Now what you have here is your eight day, cross below your 100 day, heading towards your 200 SMA here. Your uh, 21 day here is uh, uh, pushing on down and your 50 day here is pretty much flat. So what we always have to do is look to the left of the chart. Okay, not that far left, but left of the chart. Okay, here's what, it, what we have here. Okay, uh, what we got is we got this bottom of this candle here. So we have to look right here to the left. So you want to look at this top side. Okay, so basically here you got uh, a low of uh, a 75.32, but your top, your high was uh, 77.33. Today's low was 77.27. So you knew that there area is going to be support. So now what do we have here? Now we have to start looking at the bottom of these candles here. So you got 76.44. You have 75.69, we have uh, 74.52, and then we come down here and you got 73.82. This would be the next kind of a segment here that you want to want to look for. But what we do is when you look at this, when it rises up, it leaves that price channel. So we want to look at this candle right here also, okay? So the top of this candle here is basically 75.06. So that is going to be really your hardcore next level that you want to go to, okay? And if that is lost, then we come down to these candles right here. See, this is why you want to put price channels on your on your charts. It makes it really easy to see, okay? So what this candle here, okay, 77.33. Today's low, 77.27. So you had a pretty good idea where it's going. So you just follow these candlesticks down. If it comes all the way down here, but watch the top of this candlestick here, that 75.06 here, that could be very well the next level. OK, so let's just take a look here at the upside. Well, you got to get back here above this key 200 SMA. OK, so you're sitting at uh, 78, uh, uh, 26. And then what you have to do is we got to start getting right here above this key price channel here, which is basically 80, 10. And then we have all this resistance. Um, you got your 8174. You got your 100 SMA here, 8166. And then you have your your uh, 21 day 84.29, and then 86.42. But right now, this just looks like this is just coming right off here. When you get a big candle like this, this is just going low. But you can see where all the tell was that you know you can't get through the eight day, can't get through the eight day. She's going lower now. I thought that maybe this 200 day would hold, but no. So we got to look and see what when when the futures open here at six o'clock. Will this rally back on up to it? But now this is going to become big time resistance here now again. Okay, so let's just look here and your RSI here. Well, that's still not really that oversold here. Okay, your MACD here. Well, you know, you, you still got a little ways to go here. Then get to the bottom here, and then you can just circulate here. You did on the bottom here, you know, for a long period of time. Okay, so right now it just looks lower here. I'm still long the SEO. I'm going to see how the future is going to open up here and uh, see how that all shakes out either tonight or tomorrow. All right, let's take a look here on a weekly and a monthly chart. Okay, here we have your weekly chart. Now, that, that 50 day there was very, very key, okay? But you can see where it closed right below. So now you just gotta follow these candlesticks. Now, I've always been pointing out here, if you lose this 50 day and that 200 day on the daily, well, your next, uh, next stop is gonna be this 200 SMA right here. So you're looking at 73.26, okay? And then if you look here at this 50-day here, sitting at 68.80, okay? Which lines up pretty nice here with this um, uh, uh, 200 SMA here. This would be your first target here. But this is going to be your big target here if you cannot get back above this 50-day. 
Okay, this is what you're looking at here, roughly 70 bucks. And if that's lost, you got this 68, uh, uh, 50 day here, uh, right below it here. And then if that's gone here, whoa, you got 6705 and you could retest this candle right here very easily at 6364. But let's not worry about that right now here. So we want to see here, okay, when the future is open here, can it regain this 50 day here uh, in that 200 day on the daily chart? That's going to be key. It's sitting right around 78, uh, uh, 28. Can you regain uh, uh, that or is that going to become resistance here? Now you look where this eight day, see this eight day rolling over here? This is going to be very, very tough now because now you're going to be fighting that the whole way on up, okay? So what you want to do here is Watch this 50-day here on the upside. If you can gain some ground here, then we want to look here to this uh, uh, 8 SMA here on your monthly. 78, 7, 70, and then we could probably go to this 81.94 here. But as this rolls down here, it's going to be very, very uh, tough resistance. Now, if you, this wants to go lower here, well, we find all these candlesticks here. And then we basically here, you're going to be looking here, first of all, for this 200 SMA here at 73.26. And then is basically the 70 area. Now, don't have to worry about it. I have all the support and resistance levels here posted at the end of this video. So just follow those and you'll be in really good shape. Now, RSI, well, she's coming off. She's she got a lot of room. She could run on the way down. MACD, wow, bearish cross. That could a lot of room on the way down here. This never made a bullish cross here. It was trying to, but it just could not do it. So you got a lot of room to run here on the downside. But we got to see what the numbers are. Remember, the API numbers will be out today at 4.30. we got to see how all that is going to shake out here. And remember, that big OPEC meeting I was talking about here is going to be on November 26th, and that's going to be an in-person meeting. So you got to be very, very, you know, keep that on your back burner for down the road. All right, let's see what Natty Gas did. Okay, here we have the old natural gas. Now, what do we do? We sold right down to this uh, level here of 3.099. How do we get there? Well, look at the top of this candle right here. What do you got? Okay, 3.092. Boom. There's your support level. Okay, just like I pointed out, 3.02. If, if you lost that 21 day, then we just take this candle here. Okay, 3.15. Lost that. Then you come right here, 3.092. Okay, so you look at the top of that. There's your support right there. Okay, now where do we start? Okay, where do we go from here? Okay, because when you look at the top of this candle here, Okay, and look at that support level going right across. See, very, very nice. Now, if that is lost here, what we're going to be doing here is we're going to start looking here at these top of this candle here. So you're looking at 3.034 uh, right there. You're looking at 2.997 and then right here. Okay, very, very critical that 2.977. Very, very critical because that lines up very nice here with the 50-day here, 2.975 here on your weekly chart. Okay, so that is going to be your your uh, uh, big target here. Now, uh, uh, three point one seven here. We still got some support there. You got your eight day at sitting at three point one four. Okay, so now you're you're actually you're above that. So remember, I was pointing out here that if it does come down here, but it's holding that key eight SMA, that might be a good opportunity. The problem is when you look at this candle here, what you need to do is. Tomorrow or after, you know, when the future's open here, you want to look for get a higher low or tomorrow if it even puts in a red dog. Say it slams all the way down and then closes up, then that's also a good buying opportunity here on the upside. Uh, KOLD here was a pretty good uh, a, a trade today. I think I scalped the point and a half out of that today. That was that was pretty good. I probably should have just held it all the way down here. But again, this time of seasonality, you just don't know. So I'm more of a trader. I just like to have just get the money in the pocket and move on to the next day kind of a situation. Okay. So right now we want to watch tomorrow. You want to watch this key uh, uh, support here, basically 2.09. Okay. And if that is lost here, then we can come down here to this uh, candle here. And then basically you're looking at this 2.97 that 50 day. If that is lost here, then you got 2.86, and then if that's lost, we come to the bottom of this candle at 3.82. There's your gap. Top of this candle here is your fill at 2.78. So, but we got to see how this is all going to shake here. Uh, now, on the upside here, what do we want to do? Well, you want to look at this 21 day, 3.236. That's going to be very, very critical. You need to get back 
above that. And then what you do, then you look at today's high, okay? You're looking at uh, 3.295. Uh, uh, and then we want to look here to this bottom of this candle here, uh, 3.32. Okay, that's going to be critical. And then if it can rally up here, then you look for the eight day right above that at 3.14 here. But right now, you know, you just got a series of lower lows and lower highs. That, that's that's never a good pattern that you say, hey, I'm taking long on this. So just right now, I think the, the trade right now is going to be scalped. Okay, so quick review. Watch the 21 here on the upside here. Watch this 8 SMA here on the upside. Uh, on the downside here, watch this key 8 SMA here. You're looking at 3.14. And then if that is lost here, this could sink all the way down here to this 2.0. 97 which lines up with this 2.97 okay uh rsi a lot of room on the way down uh macd had bearish cross a lot of room on the way down uh so we just gotta see how this all shakes out here now don't forget the api here is at 4 30 today i'll have more for you on the crude and the natural gas here uh tomorrow morning before eight o'clock and watch at 6 6 p.m tonight when these futures open here maybe you can get yourself a little possible scalp yet all right thanks for watching